Hi, today we're talking about how to get out of your comfort zone when you have anxiety, depression, and or PTSD. And um, my name is Rachel McLeod. I am a mental health therapist, coach, speaker, and I help people do the brain work for resolving symptoms of anxiety, depression, and traumatic stress, and for transforming how they do life, how they show up in relationships, and how they realize their goals. And so the brain has a really beautiful process for this. It is uh, native to brains to heal, um, to resolve symptoms, to master, to grow, um, to create deep intimacy. And so, um, and sometimes this process gets blocked. And um, so what I do is I help people unblock that so that their brain can do these things for them like the brain is designed to do. And so um, that is a bit about me. And today let's dive into this comfort zone stuff. And so I, before we talk about how to get out of your comfort zone, I want to lay a little bit of a foundation because um, you need to know this in order for what else I'm going to say to make sense. And so um, I want to talk about the value of the comfort zone. And um, I, what I'm going to talk about is really counterintuitive here, but it makes perfect sense brain wise and how humans develop, how we grow and master. And so um, there is a lot of value in the comfort zone. Um, when you've got symptoms of anxiety, depression, and traumatic stress, you're pretty much not comfortable, right? You are not in your comfort zone at all. Um, you are very uncomfortable. And, um, what happens when we, when we heal, okay, let me say this. There's so many things I want to say, um, <laughs> about this topic. I'm going to get organized here. Um. In the value of the comfort zone is this is where we do uh, so much healing, so much growing, so much mastery, so much reorganizing. Um, this is how we're designed when we're little. Um, it, this is the process of secure basing. When we have a secure base, a lot of people with complex PTSD uh, or symptom or anxiety and depression um, really had a hard time with this in childhood. Not all of them. Not all of not all of the people. Um, who have these issues, but it's common um, to have secure basing challenges in childhood. Um, when you have create a secure attachment with your parent, they are your secure base or a caregiver. Um, that secure base is really regulating to the nervous system. Um, that means that because your nervous system is regulated, all the doors to healing and processing are open and running at optimal speeds. Um, we're growing, we're exploring, we're learning. We're learning that it's safe to explore. We're learning that it's safe to get outside of our comfort zone. We're learning so many things. Um, if we run into something scary, upsetting, distressing, we bump, we, we, fall, we fall, bump our knee, um, we will run back to the secure base and we will <laughs> regulate and process our adventure. Um, and then it, when that is complete, um, people will naturally, children will naturally go back out and try again. Um, if the secure base is not safe or also the secure base did not encourage exploration, both of those things are required in a, um, in a secure base. If mom was really comforting, but she really didn't want you to go very far, um, uh, this, this really was, is not the same. That's not a secure base. That's comforting. Um, <coughs> and so, but when, when we get this space and it could have been dad as well, right? So, but when we get this comforting space, there's a lot of nervous system magic that takes place in that comfort zone. Right. When I first get clients that are that are dysregulated, they're that we're beginning their work um, beginning. We're beginning. They might not be beginning. They might have been working on this for a while. But when we start, I there's a lot of dysregulation. And so the very first thing we're doing is getting stuff, all this stuff processed um, that we need to get processed to be able to create a secure comfort zone that no matter what they do, if they go out here, they can run back. Um, and we want that comfort zone to be in their nervous system. Maybe it's, um, maybe it, their safe place is at home, right? Home is where we need to make safe first. So while we're in there, we're processing, 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 and pretty soon they can be home and pretty regulated, hopefully deeply regulated, but I'll take 
mostly regulated, um, so that they can get comfortable, they can learn that, that it's, they're allowed to be comfortable. Sometimes in childhood, there's so much pressure on growth and advancement and healing that, um, that there's a lot of bad um, stigma t uh, around the comfort zone. Um, you might get labeled lazy if you're hanging out in your comfort zone too long. Um, you might, you might get, you, they might say that you are, um, you don't have any ambition. Um, you don't X, Y, and Z. And so you, your nervous system learns that it's not, you'll get some heavy criticism if you stay in your comfort zone. So you just learn, don't, don't go into the comfort zone. Right. And so this is, this is not, good for humans um we need to really do well in that comfort zone right but sometimes we get stuck in the comfort zone and we want out and we can't get out right and that's we're gonna we're covering that that's what we're covering today but i really want you to understand there is important important value in the comfort zone as a matter of fact sometimes when i get people cleared out and they're comfortable at home and I can see they're in the comfort zone. I'm like, you know what? Let's leave. Our, let's stay right here for a moment, I, and 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 chill, because there's so much your brain can do here that it it cannot do anywhere else. And let's take full advantage of it. Um, and I might leave them here for a week. I might leave them here for a couple days. Um, and we're just soaking in this. And I know there's more work to do. We got to get get uh, get back up. We're going up the mountain, right? We're gonna go after more symptoms. Jump down in the holes in the you know in our inner world, and and we're gonna go do more healing work. But really, I want you to understand there's so much value in the comfort zone. So please don't hate the comfort zone. We want to honor the comfort zone. Um, it's just really important. Um, so we want to work with it. And if your system brings you back to your comfort zone after you get, you got out of the comfort zone, no, this is healthy. This is actually how adults and humans build uh, expand their comfort zone. This is how we do it. We go out there, we have experiences, we come back, relate. Uh, we, <laughs> my, my words, um, we come back and we, we reflect and we, we process what we've been through. We process the, um, our brain is busy in the back, replaying things, thinking about things we could do better. Um, there's so much, there's so much upgrading and reorganization that happens in the comfort zone. Um, sometimes this looks like a relapse um of of any kind maybe your comfort zone is an ex that you really don't want to be with right maybe it's it's alcohol maybe it's stuff like right it, we, the secure base can really get there's a there's there's many nuances here i don't want to encourage a, a relapses but i'm saying if you find yourself in one um it's really really nice not to freak out but understand your nervous system is trying to go back to comfort Right? Because it knows that in comfort, I can do all these things. We want to expand that so it can do all these things in healthier and healthier and healthier places. We want to take out of the comfort zone. We want your brain to, to really move your comfort zone around to be more and more healthy. Um, and pretty soon, once you get out of your comfort zone, your brain is going to make a new comfort zone over there. So you're just going to have another comfort zone. Right. And so and then everyone's going to be like, well, you're just hanging out in your comfort zone. Yeah, this comfort zone is a lot different than that one over there that I was just in, you know. Um, so you really want to understand brain, your brain is working hard for you. Um, and it's really it, it's easy to turn around and criticize. Um, but I want you to think about this differently. I want you to think about this as, as an opportunity to um, understand yourself. And and if you're back into a comfort zone um, there the thing here is regulate it regulate enjoy it because really how i want to encourage you to get out of the comfort zone is to let your mind body subconscious mind pull you out um, they will when your mind and your body and your subconscious programming um, cannot grow any further and they have gotten all the things they need from here they're up and out. They're like, we got to go. We got adventures to do. We got people to see. We've got mistakes to make. We've got data to gather. We've got experiments to engage in. Um, and they will take you out um, into the world, into your next adventure. Um, 100% of the time. If you are in your comfort zone, it is because there is work there your brain needs to complete. And I am all about helping the brain complete the work it's trying to do. If you are someplace you don't like and you want to get past it, help your brain finish 
what it's doing in there. Um, when brains are regulating, there's also a processing component that we can really use and amplify. Um, that's a little bit more high level than I want to get into here. Um, or it's a little bit more advanced. I teach those strategies in my program, Inner World Transformation. Um, that's I, I walk people through really high level stuff in a very simple, easy to follow way um, to really maximize their time in the comfort zone and then also to create and expand the comfort zone and then make the comfort zone a healthier place. So, but just like the child who feels safe now that they've been on mom and now they're gonna go explore and then they're gonna come back, um, you're gonna watch yourself do that. Um, it, also children that are doing this well, that, that have a nice healthy secure base, they are gonna go out longer and longer and longer and then come back longer and longer and longer come back if you did not have this happen in childhood um, I'm going to talk about that in a second but I want you to see healthy development and we can create this pattern and we often are unconsciously creating this pattern over and over again with new people because developmental milestones still need to be hit even though we might not be in a developmentally appropriate time frame for them we still need to do it anyway because we're humans going through human development right so um, if you're still uh, building your secure, if you're still secure basing, um, and, and maybe you're using your therapist as a secure base, good for you. Excellent. You are unconsciously on point on track. Um, we want to make sure you're really getting the most out of it by uh, getting the most out of your regulation and processing and all the things, but you might be doing this with a partner. Um, you might be doing this with friends. Um, if the more you're conscious with it, the more you can do it well, the more we can make sure whoever's being our secure base is worth consenting to us, um, be, providing us with that support and willing and um, that their and our boundaries are respected in that work. Um, but um, pretty soon with the secure base, you go out, you have your things, you come back. You go out, you have your things, you come back. Children will do this naturally. Their inner curiosity just takes them back out. That's really the way. Um, you want to get out there. <laughs> and then you stay out there longer and longer. And what happens later in adulthood is um, all these experiences become internalized and they refer back to the parent and all the soothing feeling um, that they got or the those instances of comfort. Um, they become uh, memories, but also it's teaching the nervous system that, oh, that regulation feels so good. Okay, that feels so good. I wonder if we can do that on our own. Do we need mom to do that or do can we do it on our own? And pretty soon the brain will say, I think we can, let's give it a go. And then pretty soon it will really get really good at it because the brain is very masterful. And pretty soon it's built that whole thing internally. That's the same thing that you'll be doing with your secure basing right now if that's where you're at in your process. And so um, pretty soon it will become an internal process. Um, and uh, this is something uh, I help people do um, and I want to talk time frames. Um, gosh, it differs from different people, but it, it's something that happens pretty quickly. Um, this can take weeks to a couple of months, and we want to see it growing. Um, we want to see, uh, I think I'm going to need a different live on that one because I want to deep dive. But um, um, so that process internalizes. So, um, okay, so I hope that you are highly impressed with the comfort zone, um, that you are not hating the comfort zone, that you see that if you're in the comfort zone, your brain really feels like you need to be here. And it's right. It's always right. I, If we go and look into the emotional, mental, somatic, subconscious reasoning, you will find exact answers. It may not make logical sense. It might frustrate the mess out of you, but it's on point and it knows what it's doing. So let's go help it out and get it to finish those tasks so that it says, okay, let's go. I get it. I think I can keep us safe outside the comfort zone. Let's take a couple risks. That is where you want your system to be. <clears throat> if you're at a place right now where you're hammered with symptoms, really the deal is get those processed. Um, I teach some interventions for this. Uh, they're my favorite ones to use. They're the ones I start all my clients with. Um, those are available as a free program um, on my website, and I've included that in the description here. You can sign up. You can um, click on there, and I, you're at the videos I use to train my clients. Um, learn these interventions, give them a whirl, um, and you'll be able to have um, a before and after of the intervention uses and measure um, if these are helping you. I teach you about that in, in the, the training, but um, 
So um, use those interventions a lot. If you're at a place where you don't have a lot of symptoms, but you really um, are just like, I'm just stuck. Or every time I try to go, I self-sabotage. How can I get out there? There's a reason that you're, you're self-sabotaging. I don't know what that is. I never know what that is for anybody. I think that my open mind about like, I wonder what it is, helps me <coughs> really find it. And so I teach people to have an open mind in there. Don't assume you know, because brains are a messy place in there and they can make associations back when you were three, um, 17, 12, that, that tell it, that are telling it that it's not safe to try that. And so, but you can, um, you can find it. Right? If you go try to do it and you feel that self-sabotage right there, you get feel a little wobbly inside or maybe your L heart rate elevates, right? That's the spot. That's the spot where your your body is saying, hey, don't do that. That's going to be awful. Remember we did this. You don't even know. Ah! Right? And your, your survival system is like, I hear you loud and clear. Done. We're in. And you go back in. You cannot get yourself out of the comfort zone. You cannot go do the thing you want to do. But you know what? If you can open that spot, which you can open that spot. And you hear all that wiggly feeling and you can trace that into your body and your processing all that fear gets moved through the past the survival system into the other parts of the brain they start understanding it and they start sorting it out and they start realizing oh well yeah that's a thing but there's all these other things and um, and that was just that one time and it's a little different this time and they start um, getting high-level reasoning with it um, the body doesn't have high-level reasoning. it's just like that was bad you know, we want to take that. That was bad. It's good information. We need to know what was bad. Tell us. Um, but really, your body is trying to tell your brain. Um, and so, but when it gets up there, they get to see it and reason with it and understand it. They realize, they come, they go through their process of understanding how to create safety and what's safe and is this really that bad? Or, hey, what we've grown now, we have more resources. I think we can survive that. Um, and then they reinform the mind and the, the subconscious mind and the body with new ways of being here. And then you go lean in and that's not there anymore. And you get farther out of your comfort zone. You're going to run into the next obstacle. There's a reason why that's not your comfort zone. Uh, and the better you are at helping your brain recreate comfort zones, the more you can go wherever you want to go. Right? Um, because no matter where you go, you have to take this, this mind body with you. And, um, and it's going to be afraid of things. It's going to be afraid of new things. I was working with this, with a client this week on, um, overhauling their new things, their new situations program. Um, and, uh, it's going to give them so much access to new things. They're doing conferences and they're doing things and, um, and they didn't have anxiety. Now they have a ton of anxiety. Well, yeah, your new things. And guess what? We're back in their early childhood childhood um, where they first started having new experiences and new situations and how that was handled and how we can handle that now and really we don't we're not talking we are doing brain work because the brain needs to figure this out um, and healing and resolving things from a very um, from the root and so it's I we just did that so I don't even know the awesome that's going to happen here but as she continues to go and do what she's doing we're going to test how much anxiety is there right because we need her brain to create um, a new uh, a, a better way of being in new situations we don't need hypervigilance showing up there and it's wonderful that we've got all this comfort zone when she comes back home she just relaxes and sinks into it and processes and all this stuff but she really wants to be able to enjoy the moments when she's in these other places and she's too overloaded and anxious and hyper vigilant because of how she learned how to do new experiences in her childhood that she can't enjoy the moment that she's enjoying the moment at home after she's regulated ah oh, that was a really wonderful trip right that makes people upset and bitter <coughs> and because it's grief I just lost an opportunity to be present in the moment um, because well, we go back, we find out why, and when we, we find out why, but really we're taking the brain to go have a look. Hey, um, can you uh, work on that for us, please? Uh, that's not working for us. Um, and so all of a sudden, the, those things resolved. So um, I'm kind of all over the place, but I hope you're, you're, you're staying with me because it really is all over the place in the brain. And having that open mind, I wonder why I'm in my comfort zone. Um, what happens if I take four steps towards this goal that I want? What happens? What shows up in my body? What worries show up in my mind? All of that is the information you're looking for. All of that, you get that stuff processed and 
up it goes. It's almost like that's the matrix, you know, in the movie, the matrix, it's all the green stuff. We are walking, y'all are walking past this all the time and don't even know. Um, so you'll know now when you kind of come up to your dream and you're like, and then your brain's like, that's the stuff. Your brain, your system is reading the inner codes and you just use your intervention and all of a sudden it's processing it and it's like, oh wait, hold up, let's re recreate these codes. And next thing you know, you're out there and you're doing your thing and it's comfortable and you've made a new comfort zone. <laughs> that's a story, but it's really how it works. <coughs> Um, so having said that, um, let your mind body system pull you out. Um, you can use, um, so many things to get out of your comfort zone, affirmations, visualizations, um, um, you can make efforts, you can do all this stuff. And that's all really good for directing your mind where you want it to go. It's essential, vital. You got to do that. Um, but understand and please respect that your mind body system has a process for it to go with you out there and your survival system wants to know, are we going to live? Are we going to die? It needs to go through its process of understanding that your subconscious mind is like, Hey, 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 but what about our early childhood home that we should be recreating? What about all the drama? There's not going to be drama over there. Why are we going over there? You know, it has to go through its process of resolving the need to recreate drama and creating calm and, and, and collaboration and synergy. Uh, there's a process it goes through. It's not a long process. It's very fast. But it needs to be able to go through its process. Right? Don't drag yourself out there, throw yourself out there, push through, push through the barrier. I'm sure there's a barrier. Like you walk, try to get past the comfort zone and it's like an electrical fence and then you get sent back in. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Uh, the different levels of voltage though. Um, but right at that edge, um, don't throw yourself out there. Let your brain like feel the, the distress, feel the why, why don't you want to go out there? You will hear all answers if you, well, this happened. Well, this happened. Well, what about this? What about that? There's tribal stuff in here. There's primal stuff. There's stuff in here <coughs> from epigenetics. There's, there's generational stuff. Like let your mind body system do its work. Because then it's going to go because your system can go. It wants to go. If you want to go, it wants to go. And all these things that you think are, are symptoms and things that are holding you back and obstacles, those are just things your brain needs to be able to work through to go. It's just telling you, hey, I'd love to, but so help it out. Work with your mind body system, work with your brain um, and in, in the way that it needs it because it's, it's different than us, but it's, the, it's us right? <laughs> it's a different part of us. And so um, I invite you to try my way of working with the mind-body system. Um, in, in, enroll in my free program, Inner World Transformation. Um, if you really, really like that, go ahead and, and enroll in my, my program, Inner World Transformation. It is, it is a wonderful way to spend eight weeks learning how to work with your brain, learning how to create new comfort zones, learning how to resolve symptoms, learning how to, um, how to shift into desire-based living instead of scarcity mindset or, or fear-based living, right? Um, and it's foundational. And it's one of those things, even if you're just at the top of your game, you go back and you do the foundation and you just go higher. Um, and so, and the, the, the program is designed to meet your brain where it's at. It provides structures and then your brain fills it in. So it's customizing to you, um, the program the entire time. So, um, and it's, it's the program I use for coaching and coaching clients and, and my therapy clients. And, um, so I invite you to give it a whirl and, um, wonderful connecting with you. I'm glad you showed up and I'll see you soon.